if one path fails, you need passion to focus and stay positive, knowing that eventually your new direction is going to deliver the outcome that you hope to accomplish. What is passion? So passion obviously is showing, right? Or caused by a strong feeling or a strong belief, right? So wouldn't you say if you go deep on your goals, family, fitness, finance, faith, if you go deep over there on your goals, don't you think you have a passion, strong feelings, strong beliefs in yourself, in your relationships, in your finances, and right? In your four Fs, you have these strong feelings, which lead to strong beliefs, right? And so now you have your passion. A lot of you continue looking. I've, I've met people, seriously, that go around and go around and go around and go around and go around saying they're looking for their passion. Josh, I haven't found my passion. I don't know what my passion is. I don't know. Well, you just got the keys to that passion. And that's the four Fs. That's going deep. Going deep for you. And this is for you. This isn't for me. This isn't for Brad. This isn't for Tanya. This isn't for freaking Sean. This isn't for Donna. This is for you. This is for your family. This is where you should be excited to spend your time. And I know some of it sucks. Some of it hurts when you start digging into your relationships and, and really like figuring out, you, you know, you value them, but you've neglected them for so long. So you have to rebuild them. And when you hit, when those kind of things hit you, they can hurt. They can hurt, but it's worth it. It's worth it because this is your life. This is your life. This is what you're going to wake up every single morning and go and build until you reach it. And so shouldn't you put time and effort into really understanding yourself, your family, your goals, your desires? Shouldn't you dig deep enough to where every waking moment you're up doing something that you get feeling that you're inspired to do? Shouldn't you? So you should love spending time on your goals. You should love digging deep and finding your passions, right? You should love it. And you should continue to do it over and over and over again. Because let's keep it real. With anything from sports, business, relationships, passion's the initial driving force, right? Behind the desire and ambition to create a plan of attack. But People can lose that passion without grit and resilience, right? On the other hand, so grit without passion is just the grind, right? And eventually the grind wears you down. So you also need resilience, right? We talked a little bit about that to maintain all that passion in the face of struggles and failures, right? Without all three of these traits, you could easily be tempted just to give up. So I'm trying to dig in and really show you, right? Passion, passion, grit resilience with those three things we're going to be going through, right? With those three things, that is your success path. That is where I've seen so many students win is when I see them working on these things every single day, building themselves up every single day. And I remember back in 2009, you know, my passion was like at an all time low. My first company, it was buried in debt, guys. We had to cut a bunch of people. We were very close to filing bankruptcy, to tell you the truth. And when I think back on that, that, what just kept me going through that difficult time, I realized it was grit and it was resilience, right? But it didn't feel that way in the moment. What, what drove the passion I needed to keep moving forward was the determination to provide for my family, right? To keep my employees paid. And, and work to ensure the previous years didn't lead to failure because I put so much time into it. Um, due to past experiences, I had that confidence, that time I invested, and it, it would lead me down to a positive path at some point if I just kept putting in the time, right? So even though the formula for success starts with passion, it was my grit to overcome obstacles, right? And my resilience to bounce back and try again that kept helping me over and over again. But I understood if grit and resilience made up my engine, right? If it made up the engine of the car, it was passion. It was passion going deep on the 4Fs that gave me the fuel 
to get it running, right? To keep it running, to keep it going. And it was with passion that I built my self-confidence. And it was with passion that gave me the motivation and the enthusiasm to always want to learn more, to build my faith up, right? So self-confidence lets you continue forward into the unknown. And humility helps you accept input from others that have more knowledge in a specific area. Lots of other people have come and gone before you, right? Making both mistakes, making both good mistakes, right? And bad mistakes and integrating that feedback into new strategies. It's an important part of your success. I always say this to you guys constantly. I'm like, success leaves clues. I'm constantly telling you guys that, right? So if one path fails, you need passion to focus and stay positive, knowing that eventually your new direction is going to deliver the outcome that you hope to accomplish.